Hey, Sean from IQ Barbecue, and today we're making the White Castle Slider. It's gonna be unbelievable. Stay tuned. So if you've never heard of White Castle, this is an iconic hamburger chain in the Midwest, founded a century ago, and really credited for creating the modern day, not only the slider, but the modern day flat hamburger. At that time, they were made in kind of a meatball shape. So they are given credit for really the hamburgers that we have today. I'm in California. We don't have White Castle here. I've had them before uh, traveling, you know, but the only way to get White Castle burgers in California is frozen in the grocery store. Um, we have our iconic brands out here like In-N-Out Burger, but nothing is quite like a White Castle burger. And so we're gonna try to duplicate that today with a couple twists. So here we go. And we're gonna start with just 80-20 ground beef. To that, we are going to add salt and pepper. Put, put a little extra in there. And then we're gonna mix this up. This is where the uniqueness comes in on this burger. We're actually going to lay the hamburger down on some parchment paper. Now I apologize because like with most of the videos we make, the wind is blowing 30 miles an hour again. And so what we're gonna do next here is unique. We're gonna actually roll this out. We want these hamburger patties to be kind of a sheet at about a quarter inch thick across the board, okay? So we'll start there. So I'm gonna kind of just pad this out a little bit myself with just my hands. And then we will grab our rolling pin here. I thought I'd use a stainless steel rolling pin today. I thought this might be better for this particular project. And we're gonna roll this out until we get that correct thickness. And remember, their burgers, or patties are square. So we're gonna make this into a square piece, even though it's obviously not coming out anywhere near square. Now, I'm gonna just kinda cut off some of the excess here that we can get more of a square shape and a little bit from here. Okay, and then we'll put this hamburger just back on top and continue rolling out. So I think we need this to be a little bit larger than it currently is. Now we're gonna be using King's Hawaiian ro rolls today. And this is kind of the difference between using just a standard kind of dinner roll that they use. This is gonna give us an extra kind of layer of flavor. And I love these things, that sweetness of the rolls. I think it's gonna complement perfectly with this beef. So what we're gonna do is we'll just set this on top here and we'll get a general idea of how big this is. Um, and that's actually, you know what? pretty darn close. We'll make it a little, we'll flatten it out a little bit more, but we think we've just about got it. Want it to be a little bigger because these are gonna shrink a little bit, but other than that, I think we're right about where we wanna be. Okay, so now I'm going to, again, chop off a couple of the edges here just so we get these perfectly square patties that we're looking for. Roll that out a little bit there. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so now that we have this all rolled out, we're gonna go ahead and cut the uh, individual patties out. Now we have 12 buns here in the package, so we're gonna make 12 of the patties as well. What we'll do is we'll start by cutting right in the center here, just cutting all the way down, coming here and doing the same, and then here. Now we'll turn that and do the same thing going the other way here. About here and about there. Now we're gonna have a few on the sides here that are a little odd shape, but that's fine. So now that we have that done, there is one more step, and this is what makes these burgers really unique. For this step, we need chopstick. And we're gonna basically poke holes in the patties. And the reason why they do that at White Castle is basically when it's cooking, all the steam and all the flavor is gonna come up through those holes and really steam and just add a ton of moisture to the burger. It's one great thing about their process. So basically you're looking at just making five holes in each. Make sure they go all the way through the meat though. So we're gonna put one in the center and then we're gonna go ahead and put one on each corner. And again, push all the way down to make sure you have a nice clean hole on each one because this, this, is, this is really their key process. I've tried to do this a couple different ways and I find the chopstick really works perfectly for this. It makes the right size hole and it makes a nice just even hole throughout and it goes all the way through because if it doesn't go all the way through the, the bottom of the patty, it doesn't really make a difference, not gonna help. We'll throw our patties here on the corners. Okay, one last one. Okay, 
So now we have our patties done. We're gonna put this on a cookie sheet and with another piece of parchment paper over the top. And we're gonna put this in our freezer for about three hours. Because what we want these to do is to freeze. Then we can basically just break them off and we'll put them on our flat top and get to our next step. Okay, so now that our burgers are in the freezer, they're almost done, let's get to the next step. And that is an onion. You can use a yellow onion or white onion, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna need to dice this. So first thing we'll do is we'll just, we're not gonna need the whole onion here. So I'll be a little more generous as far as this first cut here. We're gonna cut off the stem side, not the root side. And we're gonna make some cuts right into the top here, probably about three and not all the way through, just about three quarters way through is all. And then that's gonna fall. So we've made three cuts across here. One, two, three, very simple. And now we're gonna come back and cut down. Again, not all the way through. And we're gonna make probably made eight or 10 cuts here. Sideways might be easier to see. Okay, now lastly, just cut from the end here. And this gives us just perfect dices. Okay, gonna hold on the end there. I got a couple pieces here that are a little larger still. They didn't, I didn't get all the way through on, not a biggie. Okay, so now that we have the onions chopped, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a broth and this is where we're gonna change up the uh, recipe a little bit. So I have a bowl. The bowl is just basically beef broth. Um, this, now this is something that White Castle does use. So within this beef broth, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of sriracha sauce and about two tablespoons of whiskey and mix. Now, we are going to add our onions to that liquid. Okay, so now that we have the onions in the liquid, we're gonna let that sit in there for about 15 minutes. By that time, our meat will be completely frozen. We'll bring that out and we'll start uh, getting these on the flat top. But let's get our buns separated first. Hawaiian buns come 12 to a package. Let's take these all apart. Okay, so now our rolls are separated. Let's go ahead and cut them in half. These are really soft, so a serrated knife works best. And almost done. And the last one. All right. So now we have the buns all separated here. We'll keep them together until we're ready to use them. Okay, so now let's go get our meat and let's start cooking. And our hamburger patties are done. Now, this is actually pretty easy. Should be pretty easy at least to get through. We should be able to peel the parchment paper off. Take these over and that's just perfect actually just what it did there, which is just allowing me to kind of break these off into those initial cuts that we had made. Perfect. All right. Now we'll break them off. Just break them apart and they're ready to go on the cooker. Easy. And you can see the holes that go right through them. That's exactly what you're looking for is this thinly pieced patty with the holes through it. Perfect. All that steam's gonna go through there. It's gonna be incredible as far as taste. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our onion mixture here and we're just gonna put the onions on the flat top here. And I'm gonna just use a spatula here to get them on there. And now we're gonna spread these out and get a kind of a, just a good even layer across here, which is gonna be able to be this, basically the same size as the hamburger patties. We'll go back and use our container here to make sure that's just about perfect. Now, take your individual pieces of meat here and we're gonna put them on there. And this is actually that simple to do. This is all there is to it, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna let these start cooking. And the next step though, is we're gonna pour a little bit of this broth and onion mixture down into the onions because what we're looking for here is that, that steaming effect. And I don't know if you can tell, but the steam is coming right up through the holes, which is exactly what you want. Now what we're gonna do, gonna go ahead and cover it and really trap that steam in. This is not gonna take very long to cook. These things are only gonna cook for a few minutes and they're gonna be done. But that steam coming through the onions, through the bourbon, through the sriracha sauce, through the beef broth, 
all that flavor infused goes through the steam up inside the holes of the burger patties, infusing the patties with that flavor, and then also keeps them super moist because of all the steam. This is really the secret to White Castle's kind of process. So we're gonna let these keep cooking and go from there. Okay, so these are about halfway done now. We're not gonna flip these, so they have to cook all the way on this one side. So next thing is, we're gonna take the bottom of our buns and put them on the burgers. And this will allow these buns to also get steamed and fused with that same flavor. This is so easy because you can do all this on one grill. Now, whoops, that's a top. Now we'll come back and put our tops on top of those. Just like that. All right, now cover back on. Let them keep cooking here for a few more minutes and we'll be ready to go ahead and build these things. Okay, so now these are just about done. We're gonna take some smoked cheddar cheese that I have. We're gonna go ahead here and cut it basically in half and then about that much off the other side of it. Okay, these look perfect. Now let's get this cheese on. Okay, what we're gonna do is just lift up our patties here. Piece of cheese, piece of cheese. Okay, so I'll put the rest of the cheese on. We're ready to plate these. Okay, these are done. So let's go ahead, let's take a couple of them off here and so we can show you what they look like. Let's do these two right here. Okay, so now what you're gonna do here to build these, we'll take the top bun off. Uh, no dressing on it, because again, we put, that's why I put the sriracha and everything into the broth, rather than we're not gonna dress these with any other condiments. So then we're gonna flip this part over, flip that part over. We'll get some extra onions there to put on the top, like so. Okay, then they get a couple pickles and the bun on top. And that's it. That is your classic White Castle burger. I hope you can see uh, the juice in here. It just, I mean, it's just dripping off the bottom here. It's so juicy. We're gonna go ahead and give this a taste because cheese is melted, the juice, the pickles, everything, the onions, incredible. Smells unbelievable. And the buns are just perfectly soft and hot. So let's give it a taste. Oh, wow. You can see that. Oh, wow, that is so, good and I mean you can see just all the juice from these hamburgers the key here with these burgers and this is why you don't need a lot of other stuff on them I know that White Castle makes a bacon version of this burger as well but to me just the simplicity of this burger is what makes it so good it's just simple it's got the onions the beef the buns the pickles and the cheese and that's it and in the slider form it's just a perfect bite and the, cooking it this way really infuses so much flavor I mean you can really taste that onion and adding that little sriracha gives you a little bit of a kick. The smokehouse cheddar that we put on there as well, just another flavor. You can just use regular American cheese. It melts uh, easier than this cheese does, but this has that extra little bit of a smoky flavor to it. And again, perfect. And again, anytime you can add a little bit more to the burger, I'm all for that. So hope you enjoyed this. This was uh, uh, you know, a great burger to make and an iconic burger from White Castle. If you, haven't, uh, if you haven't tried a White Castle burger, if you're in that area, I would absolutely encourage it. And I think they actually sell these by the bag. You can get like a dozen of them. Because uh, again, all they make are the sliders. So it's just a perfect bite. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell so when you get notified whenever we put out a new video, which is every Thursday. And follow us on all our other social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember, with IQ Barbecue, Everyone can be a genius in the kitchen. I'm going to get back these White Castle burgers. Have a great day.